Hey, what's going on guys? Check it out. This is going to go by pretty quick. So pay close attention. This is an exercise, not only for your fretting hand, but for your plucking hand too. Let me show you and then I'll go over it. All right guys, so as you can see, this is a pretty simple exercise. It's not that melodically pleasing to the ear, uh, but it's definitely going to help your technique with both hands. So I know you were probably paying more attention to my fretting hand versus my picking hand or my plucking hand, but this is really what I want to focus on is the right hand or the plucking hand technique. If you're, if you're left-handed, it'll be your left hand, but I wanted to focus on that, right? So I'm using a raking motion and that helps a lot in a lot of instances where you're playing different riffs, uh, especially when you're skipping strings. So you're not alternating one, two, one, two, you can easily just rake through the strings, easily just rake through the strings. And this exercise really helps with that. I think it's a name for this exercise. I'm really not sure of you know, saw it circulating around. I've seen it before. Um, I think it's called the spider or something like that. Okay, so real quick, I wanna go over the notes, but like I said before, it doesn't matter where you start this. It's gonna be the same position and same fingering anywhere you start it on the E string. So let's just go with A. Let's just start with A on the E string, fifth fret. Okay, so you have A, E flat, A, E flat. Okay, so you have that tritone thing happening, right? The next part, you're kind of flipping that whole entire thing, but you're starting with your first finger on the G string. So you got C, A flat, E, C. Okay, so let's do that again. A, E flat, A, E flat. Only two different notes, just the octave of, of those two. All right, then going back down, first finger. Your hand doesn't shift, it doesn't move up, it doesn't move down, you're staying right in this position. Okay, so like I said, what I wanted to pay attention to was this fingering on the plucking hand. Now for this instance, you're gonna do one, two, one, two, one, rake all the way down the string. So let me show you what I mean. So you got one, two, one, two, come back down, one, rake, 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 rake. And that's all that means. Uh, the raking motion or the raking, raking technique is just literally using that one finger to rake down the string, but that's a very useful technique. So it seems pretty easy, right? You got one, two, one, two, then rake all the way down with the one, okay? Pretty simple. But when you pair that with your fretting hand and what you're doing and playing these notes on the fretting hand, it gets a little difficult to play so or to kind of coordinate your hands with each other. Okay, so just take your time, go at your own pace, make sure you do this with a metronome. I should have actually been doing this with a metronome, but you guys do this with a metronome at your own pace. So you have one, two, one, two, break, one, 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 one. Now, if you're gonna continue this exercise, you're gonna to continue to keep going, whether you're modulating or just staying right there, because you're ending with your first finger, because you're ending with the first, right? It makes sense to start the next go round with your second finger because you end it with your first. Okay, so if you see what I mean. One, 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 one. Now I'm gonna do it again, but I'm starting with my second finger, right? So two, one, two, one, two, break all the way down. All right, so now I'm just flipping it. The first time is one, two, one, two, rake, 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 rake with the one. I'll probably, I'll, I'll try to have this written somewhere too so you can visually see. Then the next time around you do two, one, two, one, two, rake all the way down, okay? So one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 two. All right, and try to say that at the same time too. That'll help you uh, keep your pace and it, it, it won't allow you to rush as much because I know you want to go get through this exercise. It's actually a pretty cool exercise. So you want to get through it, but make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you guys have any questions, always comment and ask below. I'll be happy to answer. Um, and again, you can modulate this exercise if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it right now until you get it down. You get comfortable with just playing that spider type of formation or wherever you start. Obviously, the lower you start, the harder it will be because you have to stretch further. All right, so have fun with the guys. Make sure you know so coming out clean, clear, and precise, like I said before, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.